Hello and welcome to Red Gaming Tech for yet more daily gaming news and myself Amata here on the 23rd of January. This time I have some news for you regarding the Battlefield 4 battle log as well as a crash fix for the PS4, new features and a ton of patch notes which of course I'm going to go through with you in full in this video. Now they've DICE has helpfully in a post on the Battlelog forum which will be linked in the description for your convenience although I am going to go through everything it lists in this video they have detailed a few changes and also what they're currently working on as well there's only a couple of these announcements but they do read quote we are currently investigating an issue with the in-game battle log not always loading on PlayStation 4 please try to close and reopen it a few times if you experience this as this sometimes solves the issue we will keep you posted and we are currently investigating an issue with chat messages on battlelog.com disappearing they reappear on a page refresh so literally just those two and then we're moving on to features and improvements and the first one on our list is selecting expansion packs in the server browser will now properly filter servers that contain content of the selected expansion packs. Improved how the Chrome approval of the plugin is handled so it doesn't require a page re refresh to be detected. In loadout, the sect active kit buttons are no longer shown when viewing other soldiers. Added a apply to all button for knives, grenades, vehicle and weapon paints and pistols in loadout. Many items in loadout now properly display if they require premium or certain expansion packs to acquire and support for all items is on its way. Added the ability to hide images in loadout and various other minor tweaks on loadout as well as various minor improvements and tweaks. As for fixes we have fixed an, an issue excuse me, with suggestions which could cause new suggestions to randomly appear. More tweaks and fixes for custom region in the server browser filter. Fix an issue with the airmail assignment effectively replacing it with a new and fixed assignment in the back end. Fix an issue where every in every battle report comments when in player and had the default avatar when using pagination. Fix an issue that caused date based BF3 premium content such as videos and strategy guides to disappear. Fix an issue with loadout where the active slot wasn't displayed properly when viewing other soldiers. Fix an issue with loadout where the comparison stats bar didn't update correctly when switching weapons. Fix the issue where the paint for the OBS9 and some other weapons in loadout would always reset to default and fix an issue where the details bar on stats and unlocked pages could go live with the footer. And again, various minor fixes have sorted out. So there you have it. Um, this update is also looking to address, as I said previously, a PS4 crash that stops battle log from loading, and a few other things, as I said, that is part of the announcement at the start of this video. So apart from the announcements, which of course stuff they're currently working on, everything is going to be included in this update, and of course the full details supplied by DICE will be in the description below this video. Anyway, that is me done for this video. Hope you've enjoyed it. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you next time.